I'm Paul. I'm with uh, S Hotel and Spanish Court Hotel. Paul, uh, here we are at uh, the uh, uh, Jamaica Travel Market in uh, St Albans in the UK. Uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, first of all, the properties and uh, what brings you here. Okay, well, I'm here for Jamaica Travel Market. I'm here to represent two wonderful hotels in Jamaica. And I must tell you that Chris Issa, or owner, who is a young Jamaican, I like to say, <laughs> created something special when he did S Hotel in Montego Bay. He, I mean, he started with the Spanish Court Hotel in Kingston, and that has been phenomenally successful. But S Hotel in Montego Bay, with all modesty, I think he has created a hotel like no other in Montego Bay. The vibe is a bit of a South Beach in Montego Bay. At the same time, our tagline for the company is where culture meets hospitality. Throughout S Hotel in Montego Bay, for example, there's a weave of culture from Jamaica. There are life-size statues of our national heroes, including our first prime minister, including Louise Bennett, including Usain Bolt, including Bob Marley, etc. In addition to that, there's a very musical theme in certain parts of the hotel. One of our new restaurants is very musically themed, and we just opened a, a club, a nightclub, uh, the S Club, at the hotel, which basically reflects the street dance scene in Kingston from years ago. And so it's a very musical theme, a lot of Jamaican culture, and of course, there's great service, exceptional food, and like I said, it's where culture meets hospitality. And very importantly, we are only 120 rooms. We're all inclusive. We're also part of the small luxury hotels of the world. And tell me <coughs> a little bit about sort of why you're here in the UK. How important is the UK <coughs> as a source market for you? The UK is an extremely important source market for us. As you might have heard when the director spoke earlier, it is the number three market for Jamaica. UK and uh, we believe at S Hotel that it is important to make sure we get our share of that market that's coming from the UK particularly because we offer something different yes we're all inclusive like so many other hotels are in Jamaica but as I said before we are a hotel with a difference we're positioned differently and you can really feel the authentic Jamaican vibe in that hotel and so the UK very important market for us, which is why we came to participate in the Jamaica travel market. And what's the feedback been uh, over the last two days? Excellent. Excellent. When we have made a presentation on the hotel, people respond very positively, and I think we'll do very well from this market in the time to come. But it has been a very positive response. And as a boutique and uh, luxurious uh, property or properties, uh, but also sort of playing the kind of the all-inclusive card. That's, that's a pretty unique proposition. It is, and, you know, immediately one would think, well, if you're all-inclusive, are you really a part of a luxury collection, et cetera? We have managed to bridge that gap where we are presenting a product that does, in fact, pass every inspection for small luxury hotels of the world. So we are presenting a luxury product at the same time, we are delivering on the service, and we are not, in fact, delivering the kind of product that is expected from a typical all-inclusive. It is very convenient for the customer to be all-inclusive, and we're delivering on the service, making sure that that customer enjoys the convenience and enjoys great service, great food, hospitality in general, at the same time in an all-inclusive setting, but getting a very interesting Jamaican experience. I think that's a truly unique proposition. I love the way that you're infusing Jamaican culture into the proposition. Uh, and that was done deliberately by our owner. And that's exactly why I said that it's really a hotel like no other, because we have fused that Jamaican culture into hospitality and make this a real good proposition. So when a visitor comes to us, yes, they enjoy the hospitality of an all-inclusive hotel, slash resort, but you enjoy it in that, with that Jamaican vibe, that Jamaican sense of hospitality being. I mean, last night, for example, when the performance by the, uh, the group from, uh, that were on the West End, I mean, 
the Jamaican music was just out of this world. And that's the kind of vibe you pick up when you stay at Essertel, where you know you really feel a sense of Jamaica, and that's we we pride ourselves in delivering great hospitality, but a wonderful Jamaican experience. So finally, I'm a I'm a travel professional uh, watching this on Breaking Travel News. Um, how do I how do I get in touch with you? How do I how do I engage? <laughs> well. One of the reasons we came here is we wanted to make sure that we got engaged with a number of the luxury tour operators that do Jamaica. Of course, we are busy educating the trade. That's what our representative here, uh, um, Victoria, does very well for us in keeping the trade up to date and educated. And so any travel agency should have us by now because we've been doing a job of this for over the last few um, a year or so. And as I said, we engaged, we had very good conversations with a number of operators here and we will be signing some new contracts. And of course we will, um, we're there on our own website which tells the story of S Hotel Jamaica. Listen, thank you so much for giving us your time today. Thank you very much.